to my channel I hope you are all having a very happy day today so today's video will be my journal setup for the month of October and yes this is long overdue I know I do not know what my problem is with these videos I just can't seem to get them out on time and I'm so sorry but I'm still putting it out there just in case any of you were curious as to how I did it for this month and without further ado, let's get into it. So on this left side here, I usually put a quote. And the quote for this month is, A budget is telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. This was said by the man himself, Dave Ramsey. And <laughs> I don't know if this has happened to you, but it's definitely happened to me multiple times, probably too many times if you ask me. And that's when you get paid, you have your money, and you know, you eventually start asking yourself, where the heck did my money go? What happened to all of that money? And that's because we weren't budgeting, you guys. We were just spending that money. And with a budget, that won't happen. You know exactly where every dollar goes, and that's awesome. So moving on to the next page, I wrote out October and I'm trying to stick to long, thin, capitalized letters. You will see that throughout the spread. And here I'm just adding some candy corn. Comment down below, do you guys like candy corn? I personally don't, but it's something easy that I can draw. I am not an artist, you guys, but I can draw some candy corn and some ghost. <laughs> and at the bottom here, I am just drawing a spider web sorry that was cut off in the beginning here's a close-up very simple to do if i can do it like i said you guys can definitely do it okay and after i'm done with that i'm going in with my orange marker and filling in all of the candy corn and after that i will go in with my yellow marker Okay, so on this next spread, it is for the October monthly layout. And as you can see, I did all of the month in pencil, and now I'm just going over these lines with black felt pen. And I know that some of you enjoy watching me draw lines, and that's perfectly okay. I, <laughs> I'm flattered, so I'm leaving this footage in for you guys. I personally enjoy watching it as well. And after that, I'm just going to erase all of the pencil marks. And now I am going to write October again in the thin, long capitalized letters. And for this spread here, I decided to add something new. I haven't added this before. And that something new is a reminders section. So I have this extra room over here and we could all use some reminders, right? <laughs> so I just added a drop shadow to that. And now I'm going throughout the spread again with candy corn. This time I decided to stick only with candy corn. Um, I personally like picking one thing, but I couldn't help it with the ghosts. They're so easy and cute, I thought. And I decided to write 2019 to fill that gap right there and then fill in my candy corn. And now I'm just filling the upper left-hand corner so I can add the dates for the month. But before that, I am going to add the days of the week on top, just like so. And now I fill it in with the dates. Moving on to the next spread, it is going to be for October's budget. And I decided to go in with my yellow marker and add some shadow effect to October. And I also added two lines, very simple. And for this spread, I decided to do only ghost. And as you can see, they're very basic. <laughs> it's very easy to do. And moving on to the right side, 
I realized that I did not have my spreadsheets with me. I didn't have my expense sheet or my sinking fund sheet. So I was like, I'm just gonna outline this in yellow and I will glue that in later. And since I am gluing something on that page, I did not mind that I could see through, as you can see, October's budget very clearly. Um, I didn't mind that because I knew I was going to glue paper on there. So continuing with this spread, I enjoy doing this one. It's my monthly expenses tracker. And it's just a fun way to keep up with all of your expenses throughout the month. So what I do is I put a little check mark for all of my expenses and I list them in accordance of how they're due. So since rent is due the first of the month, that is number one and so on and so on. And after looking at this, it was a little bit plain. And since I did a page dedicated to candy corn and then to ghost, I decided just to add one big spider web here at the bottom. And for this, I decided to use my Sharpie. I thought it looked better with a thick marker instead of the thin black felt pen. Let me know what you guys think. And I decided to add a spider. He didn't come out that great, but I left him there. <laughs> okay, on this next page here, I'm going to do my starting debt and ending debt and paid off. So this lets me know how much I started with and ended with. And I just added some giant candy corn, as you can see there. And moving on to my last spread, I like to keep track of my subby count. So I have a beginning subby count and an ending subby count. I try to get through all of my comments and if I haven't gotten back to you guys, I'm sorry. And you guys, when I was filming this, I left my comments at home. I did not have them on me. They are glued in now, but just so you guys can see which ones I picked, I will be displaying them right here. And now that I have finally finished this YouTube play button, let's do a flip through. Alright you guys, so that wraps up this journal setup. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye guys!